Hi guys, this is Miss Congleton, and I'm here at a very wonderful place right down the road from Shannon Johnson, and it's the Madison County Public Library here in Berea. And we have tons of things here that I know that you guys, my readers at school, love. And this is Miss Pat, and she's going to take Hi. you around in a few minutes and show you all the cool things you can get here. Like, don't let the pigeon basically do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Willems books, The Piggy and Gerald, kindergarten, you remember that one? Love Should I share one. my ice cream? Look at this, guys. Plenty, plenty of Junie B's. I can't keep those on the shelf at school. All of the I Survive books are here. That's awesome. And tons of Dogman books because we can't keep those on the shelf either. And the Rick Riordan series, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, and all of those books. So come along, stay tuned, and listen to Miss Pat. She's going to blow your mind. Yeah, I pushed that one last year. And this is probably Hello, my name is Ann Lawson, and I work here at the Madison County Public Library. And my official title is a library assistant. We work in an area of the library called circulation. So the term circulation, that word, kind of means books going out and books coming in. So you think of that as like a circle. So it's called circulation. And so here at the library, I work almost every day helping customers get books checked out and get books checked in. We also circulate different items like movies, DVDs, music. We have many items that are also digital. So there's ebooks and lots of things that we assist customers with. They can get library cards, so we provide that for them. And also, we do a lot of things like copying papers or faxing documents or assisting people on the computers. So this is the area where books come in and items are returned. And so one of our main jobs, you can see we have books that come right into this slot right here. And then we have to take those books out and check them in. Then we put them on carts and we shelf them so that customers can come in and choose books off these shelves and then check them back out. So welcome to the library. We're going to give a tour of some of our collection and let you know uh, where those items are located in the library and how they're organized. So as you can see, this is kind of where you're entering into the library. And we on purpose put out displays that we rotate or we have um, areas where they're always the same collection, but they're newer or popular items. So for example, right here, when you first come in, we'll have monthly themes displays. This is one we have on cookbooks, which we call gourmet reading. And then we also have another one here of a, a genre of books. And this one is our mystery collection. So in this section, we have our new materials. These are books that we have recently ordered and we have on display in fiction and nonfiction. These are the adult um, new materials and they check out for two weeks at a time. These are some of our most popular authors. So this is one of our most, uh, most popular collection. These go out very frequently. These are what you would consider New York Times bestsellers. Most of them say that on the front cover and really popular authors that most people will recognize like James Patterson, Danielle Steele. And we have multiple copies of them here so that we make sure customers can get a popular item as quickly as they can and be able to read it um, so they won't miss out on their favorite author. This is our uh, section where we shelf our DVDs and Blu-rays. And this again is a really popular area because uh, we have a lot of feature films as well as TV series and people love to check these out. We make sure that we have multiple series so people can get their binge watching in. We have just returned, recently returned items here as well as we have some new arrivals, a collection of vinyl records if you have a record player. So throughout this section, we have them shelved alphabetically and trying to make it easy for people to find. We also have media of different types, such as CDs, video games, audio books, and playaways. 
This is our Friends Bookstore. The Friends of the Library is an organization that really supports and helps the library programs and blesses our staff and, and really helps us out a lot. So we sell used books through this store as a way to give money back to the library. This is a really popular place as well. Many people like to come and browse this collection and choose books that they can purchase and take home. We have these books organized as well by fiction, nonfiction. We have young adult and children's books. And we uh, have the prices labeled. And um, this is also a place where you can get many of our bestsellers that have just come off the shelves. Our duplicates are sold here for low cost. The customers can own them, and then that money also goes back to the library. So this is an area where we have our magazines. We have newspapers in the back, and we also have some uh, really pleasant reading areas set up so that uh, customers can come and read the current issue of the newspaper or a magazine. You can also check the magazines out and take them home. This is one of our most interesting collections. This is a, our seed library. And these, are, these drawers in our old fashioned card catalog are filled with seeds of different um, vegetables and flowers and that kind of thing. And customers can actually take, come in, browse this collection, and take home as many seed packets as you like for free so that you can plant them in your garden. In this section, we have our adult fiction books, and these are all shelved alphabetically by author. We're actually at the end of it here where we have some our oversized book collection, coffee table type books. And then through this, these aisles, you'll have our adult fiction. Against the back wall, we have our adult paperbacks, and they're also shelved by author. And fiction continues along on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we also have our large type collection. For those who need their print to be a little bit bigger, we have large type books in fiction and nonfiction, and they continue all along this wall. Fiction continues through this whole section. And then down here, we have a couple unique collections as well. Here we have adult graphic novels. So for those who like uh, the graphic novel or comic book style, uh, we have those for adult as well as our YA and juvenile collections. And here we have our biographies, which are um, memoirs, autobiographies, and biographies. And then in this section, we have um, our nonfiction. This is adult nonfiction. We shelve by the Dewey Decimal number. And so we have um, all types of, of books on different subjects. And uh, this, con this continues all the way through the remaining stacks here. And then once we get to this section, this part of it is our juvenile nonfiction. So the adult nonfiction starts here and then continues all the way through the back through the adult fiction section. Hello, my name is Lucas Short. I am the Digital Services Coordinator here at the Madison County Public Library. What I do is manage programs um, regarding different technologies, and we also have a maker space. We have 3D printers, CNC router, sewing equipment, other cutting tools that the community can come and use after you've taken the appropriate classes and learned how to use them. We also have laptops that can be used while in the library as well as Chromebooks. So if your Chromebook happens to go out and you can't get a hold of another one, you can always visit the library and uh, get your work done that way. Hello, my name is Danny Jacobs. I'm the Branch Services Supervisor here in the Berea location of the Madison County Public Library. My job duty is to 
manage and oversee the circulation staff. Daily stuff, which would include the daily schedule, the monthly schedule, evaluations, and things of that nature. Hi, my name is Athena Gentry and I am the Adult Programming Coordinator for the Madison County Public Library. Some of the adult programs that are offered are the GED programs for adults and the blood drive that happen twice a month in Richmond. And I, as the adult programmer, work with the children's programming and with the technology instructors to make sure that we have a full picture for families, not only for adults in my position, but for the children as well. So it's, I'm helping the adults to help the children. And it's a full picture here at the library. We, we try to coordinate as much as possible to give everything we can into a very well-rounded uh, information sharing for Madison County. Hi everybody, my name is Brandon Thompson. Uh, I'm our uh, Outreach Services Coordinator here at Madison County Public Library and I have an awesome job. I often like to kind of kind of joke and say I feel like I have the best job at the Madison County Public Library. What I mean by that really is I feel like I have the best job uh, for, for me, the job best suited for me at the Public Library. I get to take library services out into the community. So the truth is I'm rarely at either of our library branches in Richmond or Berea. I'm at our community festivals. I'm at the Spoon Bread Festival. I'm at the Halloween Hoedown. I'm at Lake Reba. I'm all over the community um, offering library services. Some of the things I do, I work with our local uh, nursing homes and assisted living uh, uh, communities. I work with all of our public schools. Um, I also like to say that I work with people of all ages from birth to old age. Um, my job is very diverse and a whole lot of fun and I really look forward to seeing you out of the community wherever the library may be. See ya. Hi, my name is Pat Acevedo and I'm the children's librarian here and I've worked here for 18 years. It is the best job in Madison County. I just have to have to say that. Why? It's because I can buy all these wonderful books and share them with you all. So I hope you come and visit us at the library. Let me show you about this space. This is the picture book area. As you can see, and we, so we have a display of our Halloween books. We also have, over here we have some nonfiction children's books, and we have um, uh, wonderful picture books. Of course, we have Mo Willems here. We have um, all kinds of wonderful picture books that you love and that I love. We have wonderful graphic novel collection. We also have manga. We have uh, graphic novel nonfiction. And this is our nonfiction section, even around the corner. And we have books on animals and dinosaurs, history, Pokemon, all, all kinds of books that you want to check out. Another part of my job is doing programming. And we have story times, we have teen scenes, we have crafts. Unfortunately, right now, we're not doing that in our building. But we're trying to work with people. We want to support everyone. We want to bring the library to you. So we have our make and take crafts. We have STEM kits and craft kits that you can sign up for and we will bring to you or that you can come and pick up. Um, if you want to, we have all these books. These books are on display. We have a wonderful collection. Um, these are who was, and then there's a zillion, uh, all kinds of people, Bruce Lee, Annie Oakley, Fred Rogers, and we have some new books here on display. We have easy readers here. Um, we divided them into um, number ones, number twos, and number threes of different levels of reading, and these are easy to grab. Over here is our audio book collection. We have books on CD, we have playaways, we have some kits that have picture books and CDs on the bottom here. So this is a really great, it's a great way to read and listen. So we also have DVDs to check out and also video games on, on the other side. I also wanted to invite people to check out our, we have board games to play. And do that by going to our card catalog, searching board games under subject or kits and you can get board games to to check out. You may say I don't feel comfortable coming to the library um, but I still want to be have access to all our materials. What do I do? 
So what you can do is you can call us anytime. Call us, talk to us. We're here all the time. We'd love to talk to you. We can put books on hold. We can put board games on hold for you, movies on hold. Any of our materials can be put on hold. You can um, get them at the lockbox outside. We have a locker system. We can come and bring them to you at your car. We can deliver them to your house. There's all different ways that you can get books if you don't want to come into our library. But we also, um, you're also welcome to come into the library anytime you want to.